Well, a federal appeals court has ruled Donald Trump can face trial on charges he plotted to overturn the results of the 2020 election. Well, the judges rejected the former president's claims that he is immune from prosecution. Our Yuki Washington joining us now. He's got the latest developments in this case. Yuki. Natasha Siafa, hello everyone. The court says the 45th president and any other former president may be prosecuted for alleged crimes they committed while in office. The unanimous 57-page decision from a three-judge panel of the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals is a major win for special counsel Jack Smith. In that ruling, the judges cast Donald Trump's immunity claims that you mentioned as a danger to the nation's constitutional system. Trump argued former presidents could not be prosecuted without first being impeached and convicted. He also argued his actions were covered by presidential immunity. A counter argument to that, and I think what a lot of Judge Chutkin and the D.C. Circuit in today's opinion were grappling with, is to say, look, we don't want to hobble presidents and their ability to do their job. But at the same time, it's not asking too much to say that the president, like any other American, needs to follow the law. And yes, you have to have protection so that presidents aren't sued with you know hundreds of frivolous lawsuits the moment they leave office. But at the same time, no one is above the law in the United States. The court's decision sets the stage for additional appeals from the Trump camp to either the U.S. Supreme Court or the entire U.S. Court of Appeals for the D.C. Circuit. The trial was originally set for March, but it was postponed last week, and the judge did not immediately set a new date.